Hello folks, I'm back. This is about the essentials that you need to start uh, kind of like a, your YouTube journey. Uh, I'm using the uh, Canon EOS R7 as an example. So basically what you can start off with is always your cell phone. You have a battery chargers like for your cell phone or for other devices. So this is about a hundred bucks from Best Buy. My charge. I've shown this before. Two uh, 3.1, 3.2 um, or 3.1.2 USBs. Uh, USB-C output on and off. Well, I think it's supposed to go off. There it goes. Then this comes on just by unplugging that. USB 2, USB micro, but they'll charge up your uh, cell phone also. So these are important items that you always have on a shoot. Cell phone especially for GPS uh, communication with a camera. Uh, Wi-Fi capabilities of transferring uh, files to your cell phone if you have the capability or storage. Different types of cables, USB-C, the iPhone adapter, the lightning port, whatever. And then, of course, with the uh, micro USB. So you, then you have to have a bag to carry most of this stuff in. those right there and then I put the little battery charger in here also so those are a must that you have to have in order to start on YouTube just basic stuff you know like for charging your camera using your camera doing videos and if I open it up so I have a YouTube studio which I you download the app you also download the YouTube where you can view content and I'm just gonna go into Wi-Fi so you can see all the likes and stuff that I can view and then if I go to YouTube content or on my YouTube studio. So my playlists have moved here to content. Okay. So we go here. But these are all the uh, type of YouTube videos that I've done. So there are over 200 of them. And I've been doing it for just a little bit over a year. Practice makes perfect. You won't have all the viewers, but you just find the content that people like talking about. And if you like talking about that stuff too, then you're sharing it. Best thing for it. Also recommend a nice fiber cleaning cloth. Uh oh, stick them in there. So clean your cell phone, maybe some lenses too. And then when you start with your uh, upgrade to your YouTube path, let's open up this case. See, and that's why I have a turntable, folks. <laughs> Makes it easier opening up. So, yeah, let's just stick that under a little bit. So here's the camera. Comes with the kit lens, 18 to 50. Okay. Scrolls out. It's pretty light, excellent camera. 
I've seen many reviews on this. View it this way. You put that LCD screen back. You do vlogs. You don't have to start with the R7. R7 intrigued me because it had the 4K60. It's a crop sensor, so you got a little more ump when you're viewing, um, you know, far away objects. So 18 to 150, that's excellent. It covers just about everything you need in the lens. It has the uh, new hot shoe for electronic devices that Canon's coming out with that you can put on microphones or or lighting strobes or whatever to connect here. Uh, small rig has cages for this, so you can add different stuff like at Atmos, uh, the view it has all the ports you need, microphone headphone for lighting or for your radio signals like for flash and stuff HDMI USB-C in order to keep this camera charged you need a USB-C power delivery compliant all right battery source so you get one of those this will work fine I use it with a, a dummy battery to save my batteries, but you can still charge your batteries. Um, I use a, a pretty good laptop battery to charge this. So, and it takes no time. So, then you start collecting your lenses. All right. I started cheap. So the first two lenses that I bought, than it. <laughs> it's in this one. Okay. The 50 millimeter. And I think, yeah, just about zoomed in. So, 50 millimeter. And I get this one. And the 16 millimeter. Great for portraits. I got the 1.8. This was like um, about 200 bucks. This is about 139 now if you get it refurbished. But uh, it's about 179. So this is about 250 bucks. I'm sorry. And uh, if there, it's brand new. Okay. 16 millimeter gives you the wide field of view. And it's less than 18. And the 50 millimeter prime for taking pictures of portraits of families and stuff. It's, these two are great for vlogging in the uh, car. Wide field of view. Closer field. Where are, you can get a closer shot of the vehicles towards you. Now when I drive, I get like two car lanes, or I mean two car links ahead of me. So I drive pretty careful, and I'm always complaining about drivers. And then, of course, when you upgrade, you get the 35 millimeter, which is right in between. And this was refurbished. I got it at a great price, and I got it from Canon. So if you go to their site, they got some great deals on different gears that's been refurbished, and you get the full warranty on it. And then I go up to 85. So I have hundreds, 105s and stuff, but I think the 85 F1.8 is excellent. And um, they have lens stabilization, autofocus, manifocus. This one, I think, uh, I don't think this is the macro. So macro they they got two 85 millimeters i think one's an f2 and let me see if i can see on the top of here nope not that. oh and the other thing is i bought the lens hood extra i bought it from jjc uh they're a little bit less expensive than the um 
Canon. But if I look here, and I'm just, because they write it at different things. Okay, so this is like, they have it on the side, 67 millimeter for the filter. And this is the F2 macro. I'm surprised. So I got the F2 macro. That's what everybody's talking about. But this is also great for portraits. And I'm going to pause this. Okay, so I put it back in here. This is a low pro uh, backpack, by the way. And what I also recommend is um, for the uh, hot shoe plate, I put it right in here. Take it away so that when I put on uh, uh, external uh, or I put on the uh, shotgun mic or road wireless mic and stuff, and plug it in here. That's where I keep it. Stay safe. Doesn't move around. Um, the only other thing is also you want to carry. Now these are the slower type, right? Which are okay to start off with. But I got the UH2S, which is the 300 megabytes per second. These are 177 or 170 megabytes. Uh, SanDisk Extreme Pro, they're excellent. All 128 gigabytes. And um, for transferring files, I would recommend getting a USB stick, 256 gigabytes, 128 minimum. Uh, I would say 256 gigabytes usual. Over here, i just show you, it'll be something like this. This is only uh, 16 gigabytes. It's not good enough. But you need a USB 3 or a USB C, at least 128 gigabytes. This comes in handy when you're transferring files, let's say to a computer, and the files don't work out on that computer. You just transfer on the USB back to uh, another computer like this Mac Studio, which will work with the uh, R7, especially at 4K60. So the only other thing I'm going to show you, uh, I haven't vlogged with the 100 to 400, but that's my long range, okay? So I got it all the way from 16 millimeter all the way to 400 millimeter. My pack is complete. I got the rear lens cap and the camera cap right here for the uh, 18150 and the camera. I got the battery charger which plugs in the wall. And then of course I got an extra battery which is very important. The only other things is, okay, now I have a dummy battery, and I don't really need this in here, but if you, if I find a, a external power source, I can put that dummy battery in this camera, get a small rig uh, cage, which I can hook that PD uh, external one, I haven't found one yet. And I can put a dummy battery in this. But just remember that all these lenses are weather sealed. So you have to be very careful if you take it outside. Anyhow. Yeah. I just happen to have that in there. I put it in there so I wouldn't lose it. Tripod. The uh, shotgun speaker, road wireless mics. You know, this is this is what goes on the hot shoe, and then this is what goes in your pocket or on your um, collar. So you have a good what I call in the army a rucksack or a backpack to carry your gear. It's waterproof. Stays protected, it's well padded. You can put in uh, the better joysticks, the longer ones, put them up through here.
And last but not least, you have to have a good coffee mug. Now this one is made out of metal. I got this from a relative and I wasn't too pleased about it because it was metal. All right. But it's nice. It looks like the wood on the outside. This is a must because you're going to spill your coffee now and then. So it's great to have a top. This keeps your coffee warm. Very important. Nothing like a good cup of Java. That's where I usually put it. And you can't probably see it, but my new uh, getup is a low uh, power or low profile boom arm. And what you're viewing, since you uh, go on your journey, is a bigger boom arm. From uh, I think it was Pro Logic, and you're viewing this on the A6100. This is the first camera, multi-lens uh, uh, replaceable camera that I bought, and I bought the kit lens. All this for about I think a thousand bucks. So it came with a 16 to 55. And then it came with a kit lens of uh, 55 to 210. And then on my journey, I got these. So, this is the latest Z30. This is the zoom. Quality looks great. I can go to the ZFC, and there's Wanda. So when you set up your different cameras, one is all you need. You can even use your webcam off of your laptop if you have one, all right? Or you can use the one that's built into your monitor, or you can use the one that uh, you get at Best Buy or something, you know, the like Logitech uh, Brio or one of those uh, webcams. Okay, just to start off. And then here's a close-up shot of her. Or you can use a ZFC. You can project your uh, films or videos on your widescreen TV to show off uh, different videos or pictures and stuff. Or while I'm gaming, I use this camera with this TV, so I have the Mac Studio running to capture my gaming on a Windows PC. And this is what you see. Captured the whole screen. And this is a 55 inch, folks. QD OLED, Samsung S95B. And of course, the A6100. So, This starts off your journey. Oh, by the way, this is the Sony A7C. That's right. I got five different cameras right now. I got a shelf right here with Fulham lenses. So I have Nikon, I have Sony, and I have uh, Canon now. So. If you've seen my other videos, you can see what things I buy. If I like them, then I show them on YouTube. Now, I don't have any affiliate links or anything. Um, I'm still test or test driving this YouTube journey. It's been over a year. Yes, I've done two, over 200 videos. But if you get in sync, you have your setup ready to go. You get the right software, either if it's a uh, yard stream for the PC or a restream or whatever. I like using Ecamm Live, and that's for the Mac, because I can do quite a few things. Add cameras, you can have interviews, 
Uh, it's all at 4K. So you can sh show great content using this program that you're viewing me on. So here's a close up shot of me. This is a 40 millimeter f2.8. I look okay. I can tweak the settings where I can look better. But remember, your monitor lies to you. <laughs> I may look red on the LCD. I may look dark on my monitor. But on YouTube, I may look just fine. And all most of your viewers view, view your content on an LCD on their cell phone tablet, laptop. Hardly anybody watches anything on a large screen TV. But when they do, and you have 4K content, you look fantastic. The other thing is, you don't have to start off at 4K. You can start off at 720p, 360p, whatever your cell phone has on the camera and take it from there. So you can use TikTok, you can use the other platforms to spread your, what I call enthusiasm, passion of what you like showing off. So if you're uh, a tech guy like me, a boy with his toys, in other words, or an old man, uh, Just show passion, drink a lot of coffee, stay calm, and enjoy what you're doing. If you enjoy what you're doing, do it at 100%, and uh, it will show in your work. So, nice little treat. I'm going to show you what I go through every day, because I still have a job. That's what buys me all this stuff. So, I don't have like 100,000 subscribers or anything like that, but I'm working to it. And I'm learning how to communicate with the people like viewing what I like viewing. And as you get better, you'll get more subscribers, more viewers, but it'll take time. But even if you don't make it on YouTube, that's okay. If you enjoy what you're doing, and you believe what you're doing, go for it. It's your opinion. It's the passion that you show that you love doing this and help other people out. They may be better presenters than you are. I see a lot of them. They're fantastic on YouTube. I learn from them. You gotta learn every day from your mistakes and try not to repeat them. And I have many mistakes, especially when recording. You say the wrong thing. You have to learn how to edit. I haven't done that yet. I'm just starting out, right? But you can hire out to have people do that for you. But it could be expensive. So money plays a big part on it. Just take your time. Enjoy what you're doing. Learn from your experience. And you can do stuff like this. So right now, I'm going to show you three videos of what I go through every morning before I go to work. So, just remember, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe. Uh, please hit that notification bell for my videos uh, that are coming out. I do one just about every day. And uh, all I can say is if you have any questions or comments, leave it down below and I'll answer them. You got to have that one on one connection with people and treat them with decency. Watch your language, that's very important. And uh, if you're going to share content 
But let's say if you're talking to another YouTuber, you have to get their permission first to show a video clip or something that you're going to do it. And uh, that way you don't get any uh, strikes or anything, you know, from using other people's content. And uh, they can take some money away from you too, if you earn any money. But uh, you got to show respect. And like I said, passion. So, just remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and until next time, I'll see you later. So enjoy these three next short videos. So the nice thing about having metal, okay, it's not that hot. There's Dusty eating. There she is eating. There we go. Boy, she just gulped that. So someday she doesn't eat. And I'm wondering if she's had a lizard or a bird or something like that. I have to go around here. So I see I put Jesse's uh, plate on the table. And you come over here. You see Buddy. Yeah, Buddy. So then she goes and licks up his plate. That's my every morning process. I gotta turn my grandfather clock off because it is and I get the autofocus on if we can do it I have to get closer there we go so it's uh, every eight hours it's ten minutes fast so every 24 hours I have to put in a half hour back right now it's what 835 it says I got 8.15, so I've already had it off for about five, 10 minutes. And this is my procedure every day. So they have a doggy door, they go out. Come on. Come on, Dusty. So then he goes out. See, there's a doggy door. There she comes back in, all happy. Yeah, she is moving around constantly. So I pick up their plates, wash them. Oh. And take a shower. Daily thing. And I make some coffee. So. This is a metal cup. I've broken two cups already. Um, past month. They're um, ceramic. So they stick to my coasters. And the next thing I know it, I got to uh, redo it again. Let's back up a little bit. I can put it up. back so I love this coffee machine fast quick don't have to put 10 cuts oh, gave me a lot today yeah we put sugar in there Time so I can 
melt. So the nice thing about having metal, okay, it's not that hot to drink, but when you put the cap on, it stays warm. So, this is what I deal with every morning. So I'll see you later. Okay, so after our shower, this is what it looks like. Yeah, let me go like that. I already put the odor on, smelly stuff, comb the hair. So I shave every other day, got my shaving stuff there, and then I got my brush my teeth right now. So the last few things I do is before I leave, so I already put the uh, cat's food on there, so he's good. They got water, the doggy door is open. So I finish my cup of coffee real quick. We gotta turn off the computer. So this is the procedure I do too. So when I wake up, I gotta go over here. Since the monitor went to sleep or TV. There we go. And I'm gonna shut this down. We go here, shut down. Put the mouse back here. There's the keyboard and stuff. Go over here. Turn off the TV. Turn off the sound systems. One's for DVD, the other one's for uh, internet. Or off the TV. Then I come back here, since it's already shut down, turn off the uh, external hard disk. There's the cat. See, this is the procedure I go through. So the cat wants to play, but I have to go to work. So let's finish this. Put this back in the spot. Here's my top. So in order to leave the house, I gotta do this. Turn off that. When I get back, I gotta register all the uh, Sony and uh, Canon lenses that I've got. Close the door. And now I'll meet you in the car. One last little tidbit. Um, as you can see on the second video, I made a little mistake. So I forgot to put the resume played the video and then realized I didn't record it. So in the process of returning it to the beginning, I made a mistake. So you might see a little, well, he already showed that, but it was just a little bit. So this is the stuff that you have to do. You have to be very patient. You'll get the hang of it. Most of the time I do, but I'm doing this at three o'clock in the morning. You know, I got up, had me a cup of coffee. You know what? Let's make a video. So, if you get excited, you have an idea, I say burn the midnight oil or midnight oil.
and uh, do it. Do the video. Um, I recommend it wholeheartedly. Um, and go back to sleep. Get up and go to work. Do your normal thing. So, this is final. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed the video.